Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the global theme color controls in Reaper. Now, if you want to change the theme color in Reaper, we could do that if we go to the Actions menu and choose Show Action List. Then we could type into the filter Theme. And right down here is an action that's going to open up the Theme Tweak configuration window. Double click it, and that opens up this dialog where we could tweak the colors of all these variables one by one. But it can get extensive as it's quite a lot to choose from, and it can be confusing as well. So if you just want to change some broad strokes in how Reaper's theme looks, we could do that as well. So let's close this and instead go to the options menu and go down here to themes and choose theme adjuster color controls. And that opens the theme adjuster for the Reaper 6 theme. And if we scroll through the pages, we'll get to this page where we could adjust the global settings, or in this case, the theme color controls. And like I said, this is really meant for broad adjustments of our colors. Like right over here, we could change the gamma, which adjusts between darker and brighter midtones. So if we bring it up slowly, it changes the look of the theme like this. Or if we go the other way, it changes like this. And we could double click it to put the gamma back to its default. Next, we could change the highlights, which adjusts the brightness of the upper third of the range, like this. And if we go the other way, it looks like this. And again, we could double click it to put it back to the default. Then we have the midtones which adjusts the brightness of tones around the middle of the range, like this. And this way. Then we have the shadows, which adjust the brightness of tones at the lower end of the range, like this. Next, we have saturation, which adjusts the color intensity. In other words, if we bring it up, our colors get more saturated. Or if we bring it down, they get less saturated. And if we bring it all the way down, it's black and white. Double click it to put it back to the default. And then finally, we have the tint, which adjusts the color balance. Bring it up, it looks like this and bring it down, it looks like this. And again, we could double click it to put it back to the default. Now right over here, this button, the size of the project custom colors are also affected by these changes. Let's readjust the sliders and click this so they're not affected or they are. And then finally down here, we could reset all the color controls for all the sliders at once. So they're all back to the default. Now using the theme adjuster only works with the Reaper 6 default theme, but we could still do this with any theme we use. For example, let's close this, let's switch our theme to the default 5 theme, which looks like this. And now if we go to that same menu, Themes, Theme Adjuster, Color Controls. It opens up this dialog instead, but it still has the same controls. Our gamma, the shadows, the midtones, highlights, saturation, and tint. And we can reset it all from here. So it's still going to work on any theme we choose. In fact, if we switch it back, to the Reaper 6 default, 
we could still use this dialogue. Just the gamma, the shadows, midtones, and highlights, saturation, and tint, and reset it right here. Even in the Reaper 6 default theme. So you can kind of do it either way. So that's pretty much it. That's the global theme color controls in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.